Hello and welcome to today's lab. Within your VCL session, navigate to the Blackboard course web page for Government 300. Along the left-hand menu, select Data, and then choose the NES 2008 data set, and this will prompt you to either open or save that data set. Click Open, and this will start your session in SPSS. Today we will build on our knowledge of crosstabs by introducing how to perform and interpret a chi-square test for significance in SPSS as well as interpret measurements of degree and form. Recall from the lecture videos that a test of statistical significance tells us about the probability of making a type 1 error or a false claim about the truth. The chi-square statistic is a test for statistical significance that calculates the total differences between the observed and expected frequencies of observations in the cells of a table. All right, so let's get started. Recall from the last lab video, we hypothesized that those residing in the South were more likely to identify as Republican than those not residing in the South. Our independent variable was South, and our dependent variable was party identification. So let's generate that crosstab again. Go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, down to Crosstabs, sort your variables, and then navigate to our dependent variable, which is the party ID in three categories. We're going to place that into the rows template, and our independent variable, which is south. We're going to place that into the columns box and then click on the cells button and we're going to make sure that the column percentages is ticked. Click continue and then OK. When we generate the cross tab it appears that this relationship exists simply by comparing across categories of independent variable. But we now want to run the chi-square test on this relationship to determine whether we can make a claim from our sample to the population. Also we want to determine the degree or how strong this relationship is or put another way about how much variation is explained in the dependent variable when we know values of the independent variable. As indicated in your classification template form on the course web page, since this is a dichotomous biordinal relationship, we will use phi to measure degree. All right, go ahead and minimize the output and go back up to analyze and we're going to generate this cross tab again. Only this time we're going to include the statistics. So go to Analyze, Descriptive, and Cross Tabs. And our relationship should already be specified here. So click on the Statistics tab and check off Chi-square. And since this is dichotomous by ordinal, we're going to choose the Phi and Kramer's V box and then click Continue. And then click OK. So in the output window, notice that SPSS generates a cross tab and then two boxes below the cross tab that will give us the information we need. The chi-square test will list the value of chi, the degrees of freedom, and its associated p-value. When reporting statistics, it is appropriate to report both the size of the statistic from the value column and the associated significance value. In SPSS, the p-value is labeled as asymp sig. You should interpret this column as p-value for the rest of this course. Remember that the p-value will indicate whether or not we can reject the null hypothesis or the probability of making a type 1 error. Also recall that 1 minus the p-value will give us our confidence level. So for our relationship, a good summary would be with a chi-square value of 14 0.826 at 2 degrees of freedom and a p-value of 0 0.001, we can be more than 99% confident that the relationship observed in the sample also exists in the population. At this point, it's important to think in terms of hypothesis testing. You want to be sure and make a decision about your original hypothesis. In this case, with a p-value of 0 0.001, or a confidence level of more than 99%, we can reject the null hypothesis and claim statistical support for the research hypothesis that those residing in the South are more likely to identify as Republican than those not residing in the South. 
While we've made a claim about significance, we still need to interpret the phi coefficient to determine the relative strength of the relationship or how much variation is explained in the dv when we know categories of the independent variable. It is useful to note that SPSS produces both a Kramer's v and a phi coefficient. Remember that the Kramer's v reduces to phi when one of the variables has two categories. Thus, Kramer's v would, would be appropriate for nominal ordinal comparisons in all cases except when one of our variables has only two categories. So in our case, we have a dichotomous independent variable, so we would report phi and not Kramer's v. But you can imagine if our independent variable or dependent variable had more than two categories, we would report the Kramer's v coefficient. So recall from Professor Daigle's lecture videos that phi is a coefficient that ranges from 0 to 1, where 0 indicates no relationship, and 1 indicates a perfect relationship that probably indicates we are measuring the same thing. In our case, the phi coefficient is 0 0.081, which indicates a weak relationship. So, while still statistically significant, very little variation is explained in party identification by knowing the region in which someone resides. Great job, social science aspirants. You can now test nominal level associations using chi-square and Kramer's V or phi. When you're ready, move on to the next video, which looks at ordinal level associations with chi-square and tau B.